Thank you uh, to the Attorney General and the Deputy Attorney General for bringing the task force together again for this meeting. Uh, before I dive into things, uh, as you heard, FBI agents are on scene in Winder coordinating with and supporting local law enforcement. Uh, our hearts go out to the victims, the community, and all those affected by this awful, awful act. Now here with the task force, I know this group is busy year-round <coughs> with our partners, especially our brothers and sisters in local and state law enforcement who are often the first line of defense in protecting election workers from violence and threats of violence. And as we get closer and closer to Election Day, we're going to continue to step up our collective efforts to protect those charged with ensuring our elections run smoothly. As I've said before, election workers, many of whom are volunteers and all of whom are public servants, are the lifeblood of our elections. And we're committed to ensuring that threats directed at election workers receive the swift and thorough response they deserve. Of course, our commitment to protecting elections and Americans' right to vote extends to an even broader array of threats. Threats the FBI, as both the law enforcement and intelligence agency, will continue to work 24-7 to uncover and disrupt. That means aggressively combating attempts by foreign adversaries to undermine confidence in U.S. elections, sow discord, and damage our democratic institutions. The actions announced today focus on Russia, but Russia is by no means the only adversary we've seen try to meddle in our society and democratic processes. Just last month, for instance, the FBI, working with the broader intelligence community and CISA, called out Iran for targeting and attempting to compromise former President Trump's campaign. And we continue to keep a close eye on China's efforts to denigrate down-ballot candidates it sees as a threat and on their broader efforts to sow this one. Whether it's China, Iran, Russia, or any other country, attempts to meddle in our elections or destabilize our free and open society represent attacks on our democracy. And as long as foreign adversaries keep engaging in these hostile influence campaigns, they're going to keep running into the FBI. Today, we're exposing two illegal Russian covert influence operations targeting the American public. The first was run by RT, formerly known as Russia Today. Now, for years, the Russian government has used RT to seed and amplify their propaganda narratives around the world. And while RT America suspended its official operations in the U.S. back in early 2022, our investigation revealed that since at least last year, RT has used people living and working inside the U.S. to facilitate contracts with American media figures to create and disseminate Russian propaganda here. The content was pitched as legitimate independent news when, in fact, much of it was created in Russia by RT employees who worked for the Russian government. The second operation reveals even more malign activities by companies working under the direction and control of the Russian government companies that created media websites to trick Americans into unwittingly consuming Russian propaganda. Today's announcement exposes those companies and their influence operations, operations that relied on AI-generated content, influencers, and paid social media advertisements to drive internet traffic to their sites and target Americans with disinformation. As of noon today, we've seized those sites rendered them inoperable and made clear to the world what they are, Russian attempts to interfere in our elections and influence our society. As the lead agency for investigating threats to U.S. elections, the FBI is focused on ensuring that our laws are respected and enforced. And when we learn that adversaries overseas are trying to hide who they are and where their propaganda is coming from as part of campaigns to deliberately sow discord, we're going to continue to do everything we can to expose their hidden hand and disrupt their efforts. I'll close by saying thank you again to everyone on the task force for the support you're providing us and for everything you're doing to instill confidence in our elections and ensure they're conducted in a way that is safe and fair and legitimate for the American people. Thank you. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney General Barr.